23. The next thing we want to do is make sure that both variables have the same coefficients. So we're going to pick one. You could choose x, you could choose y. Let's multiply equation 1 by 3 and multiply equation 2 by 4. 3 times 7 is 21. 3 times minus 4 is minus 12. 3 times 23 is... This becomes equation 3. Then do the same for the second equation. 4 times 4 is 16. 4 times minus 3 is minus 12. Y. Then 4 times 11 is 44. And then you have equation 4. Always label your equations. We want to make sure that we cancel out one variable. That was why we did this thing that we did. Minus 12Y minus 12Y. How do we make sure that it becomes zero by subtracting both equations? So therefore, minus and minus is plus. Plus 12Y minus 12Y becomes zero. So 21 minus 16 is... Uh, this becomes zero. So you can write plus zero if you want to or nothing at all. It doesn't matter. 69 minus 44 is 25. Therefore, you have 5x plus zero is 5x, 25. Now, when you get here, you always know divide through by the coefficient of x. So you have dividing by 5, dividing by 5. 5 year 1, 5 year 1, you're left with x equals. And 5 by 5 is 5. Remember, you are given two unknowns. You have to make sure that you find the second unknown. You already know the value of x. So you're going to substitute the value of x into whichever one of the equations that you want. I would pick equation 2. So you have 4, x is 5, so you're not writing x anymore, you're substituting 5. And then you have 3y equals 11. For those who do not know how to substitute values into a given algebraic equation or expressions, check the previous video. So 5 times 4, 4 times 5 is 20, and that's 3y equals 11. You have to collect like terms. So you have minus 3y equals 11 plus 20 goes to become minus 20. Plus 3y is minus 9. Minus 3, minus 3. This goes and you're left with y equals minus divided by minus is plus. 9 divided by 3 is 3. Just substitute it back into any one of the equations. So I'm going to pick this equation 2. Let's use equation 1, fine. So 7 times 5 is 35, right? Because that's the value of x minus 4 times 3 is 12, okay? So this gives you what? 23. Now this tells you that you are very correct, okay? Because your values gave you the equation as it was said from the beginning. So for those of you, yes, back to our question, let me know what method we used. And if you don't know the types of methods or the various methods we have when solving simultaneous linear equation, check the YouTube video, you'll catch up.